who have spoken with President Trump. However, you are witnesses to a shakedown scheme that others participated in who spoke with President Trump. However, Ambassador Bolton and Mick Mulvaney both spoke directly to President Trump, and unlike you, they have refused to honor our request for them to be a part of these proceedings. Nonetheless, we do know how Acting Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney feels about aid because on October 17, at a press conference, he discussed the hold on security assistance for Ukraine. Ambassador Taylor, I'd like you to listen to what he said. I'll read it for you. It's in response to a question, but to be clear, what you just described is a quid pro quo. It is, funding will not flow unless the investigation into the Democratic server happens as well. In response to that question, Mr. Mulvaney said, Mr. Taylor, we do that all the time with foreign policy. My question, Ambassador Taylor, the President conditioning security assistance on an investigation into his political opponent prior to this administration, is this something we would do all the time? No, sir. Why not? We condition assistance on issues that will f improve our foreign policy, uh, serve our foreign policy, um, use, ensure that taxpayers' money is well spent. Those are the and and those conditions are either coming from the Congress um, or from uh, policy decisions stemming from authority Congress has given us to make sure that the taxpayer's money is well spent or that the receiving company, country takes the, the actions in our national interest. And you described in your text message exchanges that engaging in a, a scheme like this is, quote, crazy. Can we also agree that it's just wrong? Yes. Why is it wrong? Again, um, our holding up of security assistance that would go to a country that is fighting aggression from Russia um, for no good policy reason, no good substantive reason, no good for national security reason is wrong. Mr. Mulvaney in the same news conference said, quote, if you read the news reports and you believe them, what McKinley said yesterday, well, McKinley said yesterday that he was really upset with the political influence in foreign policy. That was one of the reasons he was so upset about this. And I have news for everybody. Get over it. There's going to be political influence in foreign policy. Ambassador Taylor, should we get over it? If we're talking about political influence, meaning attempts to get information that is solely useful for political campaigns, if that's what uh, we're, he's talking about, we should not get used to that. Finally, Mr. Mulvaney said, again, I was involved with the process by which the money was held up temporarily, okay? Three issues for that. The corruption of the country, whether or not the countries were participating in the support of Ukraine, and whether or not they were cooperating in an ongoing investigation with our Department of Justice. That's completely legitimate. Mr. Kent, were you aware of any formal Department of Justice cooperation request made to the Ukrainians? I am not aware that there was any formal Department of Justice request in this matter, no. Was Mr. Mulvaney's statement false? I think you'd refer that uh, question again to the Department of Justice since I don't have full knowledge of whatever they may have been working on. Just about an hour before the two of you sat down to testify today, the President tweeted multiple times about this hearing and he put in all caps, never Trumpers. Mr. Kent, are you a never Trumper? I am a career non-professional who serves whatever president is duly elected and carries out the foreign policies of that president in the United States, and I've done that for 27 years for three Republican presidents and two Democrat presidents. Ambassador Taylor, are you a never-Trumper? No, sir. <laughs> Ambassador Taylor, finally, you said in your statement on page 19, Mr. Chairman, there are two Ukrainian stories today. The first is the one we are discussing this morning and that you have been hearing for for the past two weeks. It's a rancorous story about whistleblowers. Mr. Giuliani, side channels, quid pro quos, corruption, and interference in elections. In this story, Ukraine is merely an object. Is it also true that in this story, it's about the President of the United States? Uh, 
uh, Mr. Sawa, I'm here at, to tell you what I know, um, and I'm here to tell you what I heard um, and what I said. Um, and in that regard, I can't answer that question. But you're, what you've testified to also involves the President of the United States, is that correct? The President of the United States was on the telephone call on the 25th of July, yes, sir. Thank you, I yield back.